Hey guys! So my name is Elise Allred and I am going to do our Halloween look, one of them. And this one is supposed to be a deer. So I am using all mascara products and tools. So mascara foundation is a cream based foundation which makes it really nice for Halloween makeup because it's very easy to work with. It's very pigmented, so it goes on strong, but it's also very blendable and so you can, you know, switch it up and make it look the way you want it to look. So, I'll tell you which products I'm using and which tools I'm using as I go. I'll try and make this kind of quick, but also do a good job so that it ends up looking good, right? That's what we want it to do. So I'm gonna start by using a very bright color for me, um, which is called Linen. It's one of our newer highlight colors. It's this one right here. And I'm gonna use the Detail Hack Brush, this um, bigger side. I'm gonna do this really bright color and I want it to look really bright so I'm not going to blend it in very much. And I'm going to do it all under my eye in kind of like a pie shape and then on the side of my nose. So I'll do that on both sides. And I'll do a little on my lid to cover up anything that's there. And I'm gonna do it also on in between my brows and right above my brows. And on my chin. And under my nose and on my nose and then I'm gonna do the contour a little heavier it's just because it's a fun um, Halloween makeup look right and I'm gonna use the contour called stone it's a very warm gorgeous color and then for my contour, I like to use this side of the 30 second hack brush. You could have used the same brush as well. Probably would have worked just fine. But I'm gonna do my contour a bit heavier. And I'm gonna do it just right here on the, under my cheekbones. And around the edges of my face. And I'm not really going to blend it in much. I'll blend it in a little bit. But we want it to be a very dramatic look. Okay. Then I'm going to just take more of a color that kind of matches my skin. Which is called June. It's a little bit of a darker highlight color to go right here. I don't want that bright, bright color right here. I just want a more a darker color right here. And then probably just maybe just a little bit up here to blend that in together. So in between the bright, bright color and the contour, just a little bit to blend that in a little bit. Okay, then I'm going to do um, my nose contour. So I'm going to use this smaller end of the detail hack brush and use that same contour color and do down the sides of my nose. And I'm going to leave the nose contour on pretty heavy. I'm not really going to blend it out either. So just down the sides of my nose 
And then I'm going to kind of even go all the way up to kind of make that like, I don't know. To really define my nose, I'm gonna start all the way up at my brow and go down. Okay, I'm gonna go back in with my bright, bright color linen just a little bit down the front of my nose again to really brighten up that top of my nose. Okay. This is kind of the face that we're going for. And then I am gonna add some spots and maybe blend it all in a little bit more. But then I'm gonna, now I'm gonna jump to my eyes. Um, so, I'm gonna use, um, I'll do my brows, and I'm gonna use the Know Your Angles brush. This is like the best brow brush ever. I'm gonna use the angled side and use that same stone contour for my brows. So I'm just gonna dip a little of that contour into my brow, into my brush. And this really is gonna be a dramatic brow look. Um, I'm trying to make my brows more dramatic, probably than normal every day. And probably even a little bigger. So I kinda like to line the bottom and I kinda line the top not starting way over here, starting about right here, and then filling them in. I'm looking in my mirror because it's so tricky to do looking in a phone. Okay. Then I'll do the other side. So I start kind of right before the angle and angle it out. And then on the top. Okay, so you can kind of see that better. I'm just kind of defining the top and bottom and then I will fill it in. I guess you can't see that well when I'm turned to the side. Okay. But using a contour for your brows really defines them. So if you're wanting really defined brows and maybe you don't have a lot of darker brows to work with, Contour is great for filling them in. Okay. Okay, for my eyeshadow, I'm gonna do just a little bit of eyeshadow. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do just another contour color and use this fluffy side of my eyeshadow everything brush. Oh, that might not be dark enough. You could use a regular eyeshadow, a bit like a powder eyeshadow, or you could use a contour. So I'm really just gonna take a light brown and kind of put it all over my lid and then also under right here too. Okay, and then for eyeliner, I'm gonna do a pretty dramatic eyeliner. Um, so I'm gonna use the angled side of the, um, the Know Your Angles brush again. And we have um, 
a contour color that is essentially black. It's called Cola. And I wish I had it. It would be so perfect right now for this look. But I'm just going to use our darkest brown. I believe it's our darkest brown. Called Shadow. No, Indigo. Excuse me. Indigo. Um, for where... So, I'll, for my nose and my... I'll show you. For my eyeliner, I'm going to use Indigo. So I'm just going to line my eyes like eyeliner. Oops, look what I did. See that? There's so much makeup on there right there. Because <laughs> I didn't blend it in very much, so it's just all right there. And then I'm even gonna take it, this is tricky. Really, I usually don't ever do eyeliner down here, but I'm gonna take it and pull it down into the corner of my eye. Let's see. This is really tricky to do <laughs> with in my camera, sorry guys. You know what, I'm just gonna grab, I know I shouldn't like leave right now. I'm gonna grab my shadows. Okay, I know that's not a professional thing to do to leave in the middle of a video. But I'm gonna just do my shadows because I already have so much cream on my face that I'm like, it's just all blending together. It's not doing defined lines like I want it to. So I'm just gonna use the black eyeliner, um, black shadow color for eyeliner. Can you guys see this? I'm gonna take, I'm gonna turn it the other way. So I was taking it this way with the point pointing down. I'm gonna turn it the other way so the point is pointing up into my eye and pull that eyeliner down into a little point. Kind of like that. So I'm just pulling that really heavy eyeliner down in. pull it even more just a little bit so it kind of comes to a little point right there in the corner of my eye okay smush this up a little bit I'm gonna throw a little more shadow on there too let me do the other side. What's nice about this is it's very dramatic. <laughs> so if you feel like you're putting a lot on, you're probably doing good because I am putting a lot on. <laughs> okay, so then I'm going to bring this point down just a little bit too. So I'll point it up 
towards my eye. Okay, there, starting to look a little better. And then I'll just do, I'm gonna throw in a little bit of more, uh, just an eyeshadow, brown eyeshadow up here. So it's a little darker. That's better, okay. And then I'll bring it down over here as well. Okay. There we go. That powder was much easy, was what was a lot easier to work with because I already have so many creams all over the place. The powder just sticks to it in a more defined line. Okay, under my eye. Okay. Okay, we're getting there, you guys. And a little bit of fallout is fine. Just buff it out. You're good to go. I'm gonna attempt my nose. So I'm gonna use this brush, from also from mascara. It's the Multitasker brush. It's got this really small pointy end, which is perfect for detailed looks, for eyeliner looks. Um, for anything like that. So, I wish I had my cola. Oh, sorry. But I'm going to use that darker indigo color again. Okay. So, I practiced this the other day. So, we'll see if I can do my nose again. I'm just going to dab that really skinny little side in there. myself a little nose. Okay, a little deer nose. Sorry, let me look right in here. Oh, I got my mirror over here. Okay, not perfect. You guys can pl play with a nose. Make it how you want it. And then I'm going to draw a line down to my lip. <laughs> okay. These are so fun, you guys. It's starting to look like coming together a little bit, looking more fun. So... Then I'm gonna do my lip. I'm gonna do the top lip, this dark brown color, and I'm gonna line it first using this same end, the multitasker brush. I'm gonna try and do it in my mirror, but let you guys see it still. I'm just gonna line my top lip. And I'm gonna line it kind of big and dramatic. And 
and I'm even going to pull the corners just a little bit to make it even more dramatic. Then I'll flip it over to this other side. The, um, this is the same brush, the other side that's it's really flat and rounded and it's perfect for lips. So I'm gonna take that indigo, try not to smudge my lips together because I'm not gonna do my bottom lip brown, just my top. Okay, I forgot. I am going to line my bottom lip, but I'm not going to fill it in. I am going to put a little bit of Desert, desert Sunset, which is a really glossy light pink on my bottom lip. And try not to smudge them together like you're used to or that bottom lip's gonna get all brown too. Okay. Are doing good. See, I almost did it. I almost smudged them together. That's so natural. By the end of the day the other day when I did this, my bottom lip was brown too. Okay. Now I need to, you know what? I'm actually going to darken my nose just a little bit with this brush. And I wish I had cola, you guys. Cola is the black one. I then I would have done my nose and my lip brown black but the dark brown works cola contour couldn't be more perfect for Halloween makeup and I bummed that I don't have it with me right now I need to order some okay just darkens that Okay, let's see. Are we ready for our spots already? So the spots is gonna be like the very last thing I do. I'm actually gonna blend this out just a little bit more, but leave it pretty dark. actually gonna throw a little bit more on the top because I just want it to be really dramatic and then we'll do our spots and I think that's it what did I forget um so I did do mascara um you guys don't want to sit here and watch me put on mascara probably but I'll just throw a little bit on real quick and for an even more dramatic fun look, I would get fake eyelashes. If you want to attempt them, I haven't attempted gluing fake eyelashes before. But that would be perfect for this to throw on some fake eyelashes.
just throw a little bit on so you can see. Okay, I think we're ready. I'm just gonna do my spots and I will be done. So I'm gonna use the same, this multitasker brush for my spots. And they're gonna be really light, almost white spots. So I can't have it be brown. Don't worry. I have Restore Brush Cleaner right here, handy. I'm gonna clean the brown off this brush and it dries instantly so I don't have to sit and wait for it to dry. It's the best thing ever. If you guys do not have this to clean your brushes, I don't know what you are doing with your life. <laughs> kidding but seriously like in between colors so you don't mix colors using that same brush over and over okay I can't have my spots being brown they're gonna be white I'm gonna clean it see look at this clean and it dries instantly so you are good to go okay so for the this highlight color, I used linen. And for my spots, I'm gonna use an even lighter color. It's our very lightest color called Moonlit. I'm gonna dab into Moonlit and do a few little spots. Just make some little circles for spots. They don't have to be perfect. Just kind of throw them wherever you want. You can do some big ones, some some little ones. Look how fun. It just, I love the spots. <laughs> They're like my favorite part. Should have had some like Halloween music or something going on in the background. That would be so fun. There's my spots. You can do bigger spots or smaller spots. You can throw them wherever you want. I like some lighter. And then I'm gonna do a couple spots on my cheeks too. You can just throw them wherever you want. Isn't that so fun? Love it. Okay. I'm actually going to just use this same brush really quick and just draw this define this define this line just a smidge. Okay. 
Okay. There you go. That's it. Um, I, th I guess I'm just like a doe and these are my ears. I don't know. I'm not claiming to be like the hair expert, but I did see um, one picture of she of a girl. She put like little like twiggy things right here that looked really cute for little like antlers. But there you go. That is the deer look. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. We used all mascara creams and powders and just and tools. Everything mascara, beauty, and actual mascara, <laughs> right? So super fun. Thank you guys for watching and hope you have a happy Halloween. Bye.